Hello and welcome to IBM TV. Today I'm joined by Kevin Joyce, Zero Friction Officer at Tag VS. Kevin, welcome to IBM TV. Thank you, Ben. So, Good afternoon. So, Kevin, the world as well as the industry news is dominated by COVID-19 and how it's required the entire global workforce to change habits and work from a distance. But Tag's technology has always been ahead when it comes to remote operations, as well as installation, service and support. Can you explain to us and talk about how tag solutions strengthen our ability to social distance and keep staff safe and more importantly, broadcasters on the air? Absolutely. Uh, tag solution is, has always been 100% software and it's always been IP and it's always been based on COTS or, or cloud. And so it's been designed from the beginning. Um, better to be lucky than good a lot of times, Ben. Uh, 13 years ago to allow it to be Tri trialed, deployed, supported, um, everything could be done remotely. Now it started as a software company, two really smart engineers, Tomer and Gall, that's why it's called TAG, T-N-G. And it just wasn't practical for them to fly around the world, uh, try to convince people to buy it, you know, support it, sell it. So everything had always been set up to allow the technology to be deployed remotely. So now we fast forward into this current environment and clients, uh, all the media companies are looking for ways to, to do production remotely with individuals doing collaboration in the cloud. They need ways to view the data. They want to make sure that the data is uh, they're probing and monitoring it. And so everything that we had done just subconsciously, let's say uh, for, for 13 years, now is becoming a very, very practical way that the market wants to deploy technology. So helping them look at all of their channels, helping the entire staff look at the same content at the same time in, in UHD, 4K, low latency. And I think it's really helping people uh, realize that um, remote and virtual production is something that is not just you know, a future, uh, something in the future, it is something that is required in order to deliver value today. And, you know, it's exciting to be part of that. And so do you think, Kevin, it's fair to say that we'll see the ideas of remote working and remote production continuing even after all of this is, uh, you know, when things go as close to normal as they can be? Absolutely. I think that, uh, you know, people, I have a lot of discussions even with friends of mine, you know, how, how long do you think it's going to take before uh, things go back to normal? And I will say, well, what's normal? Uh, I don't think if, if normal is what you were thinking about or how you did things three, four months ago, then the answer is never. And if we apply that to the broadcast industry, uh, if we look at, you know, one of the hot things, Ben, as you know, was was Remy, remote production, where people were trying to consolidate feeds from from different venues around the world into into one location, I think, which was all driven by economics. Um, and, and I think what you're going to see is an acceleration right through Remy into virtual production, where uh, certainly Remy will still have an application, uh, studios will still have an application, but I believe that this has really accelerated, and we have live examples of working with technology companies and media companies on how they are being very innovative on, on uh, creating sustainable virtual production and, and products for the future. So I don't think we're ever going back to uh, how things were done three or four months ago. I think this is going to be the acceleration of the of the broadcast and media business. And so, Kevin, we keep hearing about a very new, excite, new and exciting tag strategy you're calling Zero Frictions. That's a game changer when it comes to financial, operational and production benefits and also ensures that broadcasters make the most of their assets. So what can you tell us about this? So with zero friction, uh, you know, it's serendipity really, uh, Ben, is that uh, for the last seven months, we have wanted to uh, launch uh, the real value proposition of what we think all technology providers to this industry will have to provide. And what that is, is the absolute freedom for the client to, to use your product for multiple functions, to use it in multiple locations, across the four major applications and with a business model that will allow them to maximize uh, their asset utilization. So what we have done, uh, effective April 1st, is launched Zero Friction. So now 
Somebody can license tag, a tag product for a multi-viewer. Uh, the tag product's multifunctional. It's a multi-viewer. It does monitoring. It does probing. And based on that, it can work across the four applications. So what we're allowing our clients to do is literally allow them to use the tag license for a multi-viewer one moment. It could move to play out the next moment. It could move to delivery the moment after that and could be an OTT probe the moment after that. And we have the operational agility with, that would allow them, they manage it, to move that functionality through their ecosystem and, and, and provide them the business model that only allows them, that allows them to only have to purchase one tag license in order to do that. Now we sell multiple licenses and sometimes thousands of licenses because we have a licensing model that licensed by channel. But now imagine that instead of having to buy four licenses across the four applications, you, if you are organized enough, you have the freedom to move it. And so we call that zero friction because it's what clients have been asking for for 10 or 15 years. But without, without, you know, without, with the constraints of hardware and with, the, and with the constraints of CapEx models that have funded this industry for the last 20, uh, 30 years, you really can't move that way. And so that, you know, it's a luxury that TAG has as a software company. Um, you know, we are, we are, we're not the largest provider of technology, so we have the freedom to change our models and, and still not have it impact, um, you know, our, uh, the financial strength of our company. And so we've said, you know, now is the best time to do it. We were launching it for NAB uh, April 1st. We had, uh, the pandemic was not in our mind, but you can imagine now with, with what's going on, it really is getting a lot of traction because it is going to be what clients require. So that's what zero friction is all about. I suppose, Kevin, that must give a lot of your customers kind of peace of mind that they've got a solution that's flexible so that they can, you know, it will enable them to scale scale their productions up and, to, and also to future-proof things as best as you can at the moment. It does. And there's a dimension to this, Ben, that... Um, that no one has ever done before. I don't think anybody's ever allowed the media and entertainment providers a, a zero friction experience the way the tag is from trying the product without any commitment to deploying it the way that they want in the monetization model. But the ultimate, uh, the, the coup de grace is that uh, a tag license becomes a currency for the future. And any future product that tag develops uh, outside of even the current product lines when we commercialize that product, they will immediately be able to use licenses that they've purchased in the past for an alternative product towards, towards a new product. Now, it'll be using licenses in their bank, if you will, um, but you can imagine if we launched, let's say, a live production switcher. Let's say we, and we're not, that's not an announcement, but just for, just for the example, if we launched a live production switcher tomorrow, any existing client who had purchased licenses from TAG would be able to use that live production switcher. That would have to be state of the art. It would have to be good enough for the client, but you can imagine the zero, the, the future proof, as you put it, the confidence that a client has when they purchase from TAG. And that's another dimension of the asset utilization that we're offering the marketplace with zero friction. And so how have your customers been reacting to this? It's, it's what they've always asked for. You know, they they wanted the freedom to use use the products where they want on the hardware that they want in the cloud that they want. They want to use it across applications and they want a business model that takes them from 20 percent utilization to 90, 90, 100 percent utilization. So we gave that to them and said, now, now, what do you think? I think the challenge now is going to be now that they've got what they've asked for is to get organized to be able to use uh, those assets across the applications in the most efficient way possible. But for sure, no matter how inefficient they are, it's going to be better than the 20% efficiency that they are today. So it's a long way for me to say the clients are, have been very, very excited and it's certainly strengthened TAG's value proposition uh, and added value for them, the client. So it sounds to me, Kevin, like you work very collaboratively with your with your clients and customers. So that must be very good for not just them, but also for TAG as a company as well, to be able to progress and enhance the offerings that they have. Absolutely. I, I think that it's not just working closely with uh, the, our customers. 
I think the current environment requires hyper collaboration across the whole vendor ecosystem. Um, and so we are being, you know, asked to, to really develop solutions with other providers across uh, the vendor ecosystem uh, at a depth that we have never been asked before. And I think that's, I think that's really healthy for the industry uh, as well. I, you know, with, with standards being something that the broadcast industry has always um, um, been, been, been very important to our industry so things could be efficient, things are moving so fast that you can't develop a standard fast enough. So collaboration between cross vendors and working with clients and a newsflash here for us, not all clients actually want the same thing. So the collaboration is required often for each client, each major client. And so collaboration right now, I think, in this social distancing, physical uh, limitation that we have, it's actually promoting far deeper digital uh, social alignment uh, from a digital perspective. So that's, um, that's also been something that we've seen over the last 60 days. Yeah, no, good. And so Kevin Tag obviously feels so strongly about this that you now have the title Zero Friction Officer. So what does is, what is this involve then? Well, my title was the Chief Commercial Officer. So I had all responsibility for anything to do with customers and support and, and products. And of course, where the most friction occurs is um, often, you know, in those organizations. So going along with the strategy of the company, uh, my whole goal is to minimize friction between TAG and, and its clients. And if there's zero friction between your company and a client, then the client is going to be very happy. And so my whole job is to make sure there's no zero friction in the system. There's, there's no friction in the system. So uh, I've launched a new title, Zero Friction Officer. Okay. Well, Kevin, it all sounds really exciting. Thank you very much for joining us today. Ben, thank you for your time. Good. You can, you can find out more about everything we've discussed today at tagvs.com.